This is McCook's Mr. Bill. It is an honor to have you here. I'm down here at Barnett Park just relaxing a little bit in the morning before I do my wife's honeydews. And you're here for a story. Okay. A friend of mine stopped by the other day and said that he had just went to Trenton Lake. And he said he was going to go to the dam on the lake side in the face of the rocks there and everything. He was going to fish in the rocks or along the rocks there. And so he was, he'd walk down to it to fish and he started hearing whimpering uh, and he thought, uh oh, did something or somebody fall on the rocks, get hurt? And he didn't see anything, but yet he, he could hear it. And he was right next to the spillway and down uh, he could hear something on the other side, dog barking. Hmm, okay. So he walked around, got up on the dam, looked down in the spillway, and there's a dog down there. They weren't running any water out of the spillway, but there's the dog. How in the world did he get at the top of a rolling down uh, spillway to the river, but he's on the top of the, that spillway part down there. And of course, it's what, a couple hundred feet down. And even if you get down there, each side, you look over concrete slabs that are up to about your tummy, you look down and there, you know, it's a good 50 foot down to the spillway itself. How in the world are you gonna get him out? Uh, that was beyond him. And as he was standing there trying to figure it out, a guy drove up and stopped. And he said, is that dog still down there? He said, I was fishing. He was barking down there the, uh, yesterday. And he said, well, why didn't you call somebody? He said, I don't like dogs. He said, let him die. And the guy drove off. The guy drove off. Wow. So he got on the phone, though, my friend, and called the game warden. Couldn't get a hold of him, so he called the county sheriff, and the county sheriff said, yeah, we'll, we'll get something out there for you. And apparently it was, uh, they have a volunteer fire department. I assume that's who came out. And lo and behold, they came down and drove down below the dam. He could see them down below the dam and pick up. And they got out a, a, a rope ladder, threw it down off to the side. And one of them men, you could say he was either foolish to risk his life or a hero. He got on that rope and went down that 50 feet. Yeah, to get to the dog. And the dog was so happy in his old tail was a wagon. And he said they couldn't figure out they didn't have a harness or anything for the dog, so they couldn't just pull him out. So the only other option to get you know that dog up, a uh, 50 pound dog up, was to just hang on to him. So with one arm, you know, he hung on to him, the rope with the other ladder, whatever, and up that ladder he went with that dog, knowing full well, once he got up there, any height, if he dropped that dog, he was dead. And if he made a mistake, he was dead too. Got to the top of the ladder, he did. That tells you he was strong up here and here. Got to the top and saved that dog. And once the dog was up there, he's running around just happy as all get out. They put him in the back of the pickup and he'd jump out and run around some more. He was so happy. And uh, he even ran and jumped in the back of the pickup one time by himself and then up on the top of the cab. He was just so happy. And they couldn't have that trying to get him back to town. So what they did, they put him in the cab with them and took him home and took him back. But that story had uh, heroes, no question, from the guy that did the calling, my friend, uh, on to the people who actually did it. Or you might even call them, maybe they were foolish. And then and that doesn't count. They also had that guy that didn't care. There are all kinds of people in this world. And you met three types today. You guys have a good day.